So welcome to an InDesign video. I literally copied and pasted the a Wikipedia article about the onion. And we're going to just have to look a little bit about uh, arranging things. I changed this because if you want to do this the way you do it, for, I do it from... Because when you copy and paste from Wikipedia into Word, it seems to retain a lot of the formatting without worrying about it. I could, I imagine I could do it directly into... I'm pretty almost certain I could do it directly here, but... Uh, this is one way, and this is another way. This is probably a simpler way to get it into InDesign to start with. And then when you notice when I press Shift here, it changes, and I can press Shift. What I could do is, can you do it right on the corner? I might be able to do it right on the corner. I need to look into to see if there's like snapping options as well. But anyway, once you do it right in the corner, it's all good. Uh, I've kind of got that like perfect, I think. Yeah. All right. So if we look at, and you can see if we look at the different pages, it's all there basically. So this is the whole Wikipedia article, and this is what I wanted to focus on. So if we press Alt, we can zoom in, and then Control. Isn't it Control to go left and right? Yeah. So up, and then if we press Control and go left and right, get it right in the spot. Want to just you just want to like mix together all the stuff. So here, the advanced panel, you can see there's different things to look at. If we look at what we've got here. We've got this anchor, and it says shift drag to move in line within text, alt drag to open dialog. Uh, let's just try dragging it to start with. You can see we're not going to get very far with it. Let's try shift dragging. Let's say I want it to be below description, so we're going to shift drag it. It doesn't really do much. So, so you see when I shift drag and I and I think it's sort of locked, right? And what I can understand is it's to do with this thing here. Uh, so what we can do is we can take this anchor point here and we can start to move it somewhere else. You notice as I'm holding down the, the mouse button here. So so I wanted to go to here, and I'm just literally just pressing. This is just a left click. That's what that does. Doesn't seem to be good. Now let's try shift dragging from the anchor thing. Seems better, right? So it looks like that is the answer. You never really want to just drag it without pulling down anything else. Shift drag, and then we can do alt click. All right, so we get this menu comes up and uh, so let's just look at what that says and I'm going to try pressing this button here oh, yeah, there is this as well this is an interesting one you can change the corners and you can change like you can make them all bevel for instance let's look at the preview so you can do something like that which is kind of interesting so I could make I could make it really I mean this actually worked really well with this actually Let's just do that. All right, so the other options are, what other options do we have in this section? You could also do, I think you can do a um, drop shadow for it. Uh, let's do outer glow, always like doing that one. Can you preview that as well? Uh, what do you inner glow? How do you increase the inner glow size? Now this gives you an interesting effect, actually. And I kind of like that. It's always like the case that people just do stuff that like I don't really like. Like drop shadow is so famous and everyone does it. But actually this looks way cool that. I bet if you did the blending modes you would get some Yeah, of course. Uh 
Uh, what was the one I had before? Same you can't do uh probably the uh, dif difference. I don't know why it's purple though, that's a little bit hmm. So this is actually not at all what I was going to talk about. Um, we'll get into that in a second. That's better. No, 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 no. You know what? That actually, the noise works really well there. Oh, right, anyway. Well, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, that looks so much better. So, you see, if I move this up and down here, you see it's going to overflow that text, which is not good. So, what I was doing before is I was adjusting this setting here. Basically, what I did is I clicked this button here. You see it puts it like that. And if you do minus, it does that. It goes in. You don't really want that. What I did find, you can see this box around it. So I did find this first word was constantly doing that. So I don't like that particularly. This is this is by the way. This is just a, this is a learning process for me. I don't mean to do that. Uh, this is just a learning process for me to try to work out what is actually going on here. I mean, it's not a bad result. I just wish that, that that the. I mean, I could probably just push it in, right? I could, I could, so I could actually fix it, but uh, I'm not actually sure why that is actually happening in the first place. So I'm not happy about that. Because what you can do is, like I mentioned, shift drag to move in line with text. This is interesting when I. So something definitely happens even if you don't press shift. Interesting, when I hold it down, a T appears. So that does that. I should really keep an eye on this number here. Interestingly, it's actually going around to this side at this point. So at a certain point, but I would like to maybe, let's think about what we need to do. Let's just see what happens if we do that. Try to try think like how these numbers are being affected. I guess it's not the end of the world if I just every so often I have to just do that. That's that's interesting. Let me just uh when I pull this down the text goes up. Honestly that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. I'd say it's pretty good. I guess it is a it is a process, you know, it is a process, right? If I wanted that to be a little bit lower, it's interesting that the, the uh, depending on where this is on the page, the effect looks different. Which I understood why that was the case. Can I just, yeah. This is, a, funnily enough, even when I did a video about this before, look at that, that's weird. What's going on with that? I've seen that happen before as well. So there's some sort of, there's a lot of interesting things to, to think about, like why they're occurring with this program. And I will try to sort of focus on exactly what is going on. Um, but there's just a lot of stuff that, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
But yeah, that looks pretty cool, though, right? I think we've done a good job with that. So I'm happy about 